Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a free business email address with Gmail. Having a business email address is very important as not only does it come across as professional, but it will also improve your opening rate whenever you send a potential client or customer an email. The first thing that you will need to create a free business email address is a domain name and you will also need a hosting. So for example, I'll be using HostGator and with HostGator you'll be able to purchase hosting and you'll also be able to purchase a domain name. You can use any other hosting plan, for example, GoDaddy or Namecheap or so on. You could use any one of those and this example will still work using them. The first thing I want you to do is access the cPanel of your hosting provider. And to do that with HostGator, all you'll need to do is go onto portal.hostgator.com. Then from this page, you'll need to tap on hosting. After selecting hosting, you're going to be redirected to this page. And from here, I want you to tap on cPanel. So whichever hosting you choose, you'll need to go into cPanel. Once in the cPanel, what I want you to do next, you are going to select email accounts. And it doesn't matter the hosting that you're using. All of them, their user face will look different. But with all of them, you'll be able to create an email account. And as you can see, I recently created an email account right here. All you'll have to do is go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on create. After you have selected create from here, you are going to add your username. So for example, admin at and you can see my URL right there. Then you are going to create the password that you would like to use. After you have created the password, you are going to scroll down and you are going to tap on create and that is going to save it. Once it has been saved, as you can see right here, the next thing you'll need to do is tap on check email. After selecting check email, you'll be redirected to this page. Just give it a few seconds to load up. Once it loads up, you're going to see the option round cube, as you can see right here. And by the way, round cube is an open source webmail software. You are going to tap on open right on round cube after selecting open you are going to be redirected to your new inbox after being in your new inbox what i want you to do next you are going to go into gmail so you can create a new gmail account or you can go into an existing one that you would like to use for this example i'll use an existing one and you're going to tap on settings in the top right hand corner. So you're going to tap on the settings cog. Then you're going to tap on see all settings. After doing that, right where you see accounts and import from the top menu option, you're going to tap on that. After doing that, you're going to see send mail as. And from here, what I want you to do you are going to tap on add another email address. After selecting add another email address, from here you can add your name. So for example, I'll put Jason. Then you are going to paste the email address that you had created. So you'll need to go back into your hosting. And from there you are going to open the email. Then you are going to copy your new email address, your new business email address. And you're going to go back into Gmail. And you're going to paste email address right here. Then you're going to tap on next step. After selecting next step, you can... So you'll need to paste your email address that you had created. Then you'll add the email password that you had created also. After you have done that, you will see enter and verify confirmation code. 
a confirmation code will be sent to the new email that you had created so what you'll need to do is go back into your email that you had created so how to do that you're going to go back into cpanel so you're going to go back into cpanel and you're going to go back into round cube which will be your new inbox and you're going to open inbox after opening the inbox you are going to see gmail confirmation you are going to open that email after opening the email you are going to see confirmation code you are going to copy the confirmation code once you have copied the confirmation code you are going to go back into g and you are going to paste the code after pasting the code you are going to tap on verify once it has been verified what i want you to do next you are going to go into gmail and you can see right there that it has been added you can see that it has been added now what i want you to do right where you see make default you are going to tap on that and by making it default you'll be able to send emails using this particular business email address and you'll also be able to receive emails using this email address as you'll be able to receive emails in the round cube so you'll receive emails in that inbox but you'll be able to send them using this right here so all you have to do now if you would like to send an email for example you are going to tap on compose and you can see right here i now have my business email address at the top and if you would like to change it back to the original gmail address you can by tapping on the current name then you'll be able to change it now if you would like to check your inbox for whenever someone messages you using your business email address all you'll have to do is go back into round round cube so you'll go back into round cube as this will be your new inbox for your business emails and by the way you'll be able to create numerous email accounts so as you can see right here i can create more email accounts if i want by simply tapping on create and you can see the amount of space that we have you have 500 mp and if you would like to increase that you can also increase it Hope you found this video helpful and informative on how to create or how to set up a free business email address. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.